Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I thought I would turn out a uh, follow-up video to the last video I put out where I was trying to figure out what this thing was that I took a picture of for nine hours as it marched across the bottom of the screen there. It turns out, as many of you have uh, very quickly pointed out in my comments, that this is asteroid 5720 Hal Weaver. And that name of that asteroid sounded familiar. And I want to go through this along with some of the resources that you guys pointed out into how you can find what these small bodies are that we sometimes capture inadvertently in the uh, subframes for our astrophotography. So let's get started. After I published that video, you guys quickly jumped in and, and told me what it was and gave me some great resources for how to find out what it is. But Richard Carande was one of the first to come up and tell me that it was asteroid 5720 Hal Weaver. And he actually has a very nice animation he produced of his roughly three-hour period of watching the same asteroid on the same night. He started a little bit earlier than I did and ended before I did, but he's got a nice video here. And I'll put the link to his YouTube video in the discussion so you can call it up and take a look at it. There were lots of other people who joined in and also gave some suggestions on how to look up what these asteroids are. There are several other YouTube videos out there that give instructions on how to do that. Essentially, I'll be I'm sure repeating some of that information here and there's probably a way to do it within PixInsight itself but I'm going to focus on a couple of these methods that viewers brought up and we'll just walk through them for the information that I captured the other night. This is what I showed in the previous video. I observed it for about nine hours starting at this UTC time of 3.30 on January 29th and observed it until 1228 on the same day. I picked it up about right here, which conveniently is near the intersection of a RA grid at 9 hours and 57 minutes and a deck grid of 69 degrees and 42 minutes. And that information combined with this time information here is what we'll use to go into the minorplanetcenter.net website and in particular use their tool MP Checker. And if you just want to find this website, it's probably better just to type in, do a Google search for MP Checker. It'll take you right to it. So let's go over to that website and type in this information. So this is the website we come to when we do a Google search for MP Checker. Now, there's just a little bit of information that we need to enter in here to figure out if this body has been identified already. Now, what we'll want to do is enter in the date, the year, uh, 2022, the month of the observation. In this case, it was January. And then over here, we need a composite day, meaning it'll be the 29th day of January. The decimal part is number of hours that have elapsed in the day out of the 24 hours of a day. So in other words, if I'm starting at 335, convert that into hours and divide by 24 and add that to the day. So for me, I'm going to put in January and in here, I'm going to put in 29.15, and you can see that auto fills to 29.15 because I've already done this. So for RA and DEC, we have a pretty good estimate of what those coordinates are because we have that annotated image. Nine space, 57 minutes space, no arc seconds. And likewise, over here, I will use 69 degrees, positive 69 degrees space, 42 minutes, space, zero arc seconds here. And that's all we need to do to give it a search uh, pattern, and then it will have a radius. Now, I don't need five arc minutes, frankly. I can cut that down significantly because we have it so accurately defined. So I'm going to cut it down to two arc minutes. I know after the fact now that the magnitude of this object is around 13.7, but I'll go ahead and let it search down to a magnitude of 24. I think we will just produce the list. Now, once we do that, the website is going to do some thinking and search its database, and it will eventually come back and tell us what it came up with. And it, depending on your search parameters, it may come up with several items. The list of items that it found consists of one item, which is the 5720 Hal Weaver asteroid. And it gives us a little bit of, of uh, speed motion here in uh, 14 arc seconds per hour, both in RA and DEC and some additional information about the orbit here. Now that we know what this object is, we can take the object name and go over to JPL's Solar System Dynamics website and then just go down to the Small Body Database Lookup table and I'm just going to type in Hal Weaver 
and we'll do a search for it and see what it comes up with. So it turns out the official name, or original name when it was found, was 1984FN. So it was found in 1984 and subsequently renamed. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now there's a whole lot of good information here. For example, down here we could get the discovery circumstances, and it was discovered by Carolyn Shoemaker, of course, uh, back in 1984 on March 29th. And another thing that's really interesting here is to look at the orbit viewer. This is a cool little feature here that we can come in and type in the time of the observation. January 29th, 3.35. And that's when I first picked up this object. Now it shows us what the, the object is up here. Notice that the orbit is uh, significantly inclined relative to our solar system plane. And that's why I'm able to observe it at a declination of positive 69 degrees. Now it's up here, the Earth is down here, and there, you can see the orbit of Jupiter is out here. It's outside of the Mars orbit. And if you look down at this detailed information down here, you can see that the distance to the asteroid from the Earth is 0.786 astronomical units, which is about 118 million kilometers. And then you can just do an animation at one day increment here to step it forward if you want to see the motion or run an animation and see the object move and it'll keep track of how far it is from the earth throughout the orbital period here and right now it's up to it looks like it gets up a little above three astronomical units away before it comes back around it takes about three years for this object to do a complete orbit around the sun this is a really uh, very interactive uh, little viewer that lets you see what these objects are doing and how their what their orbit is like for uh, additional information you can also take a screenshot all right so as we saw there's lots of good resources out there to identify what these targets are that we come across and to find out more about them almost more information than you could possibly want to know about these about these objects but it's all there and some very good information is available if you're interested in nailing down what some of these small body objects are that we sometimes see in our pictures now how about a couple of Asteroid 5720 Hal Weaver fun facts. You can use MP Checker at minorplanetcenter.net to identify bodies that you happen to come across in your sub-exposures. It's a very handy, very quick resource once you have the basic observation information to identify what that object is in your pictures. And then once you get the name of the object, you can go over to JPL's Solar System Dynamics site and get really detailed information about the object about its orbit, even get a 3D animated view of its orbit along with the nearby planets. This asteroid was discovered back in 1984 by Carolyn Shoemaker, and this is just one of 500, more than 500 asteroids that she is responsible or credited with dis discovering. This asteroid orbits the sun about every three and a half years. It's only four kilometers across, that's two and a half miles. I've the distance I drive to get up my subdivision is about two and a half miles. So this is a very small object that we're seeing here. And it's about 118 million kilometers away from Earth at the time that uh, some of us observed it here on January 29th, 2022. The object was renamed 5720 Hal Weaver in 1996. Hal is a planetary scientist and had been working as a planetary scientist for some time. I assume he was honored for his contributions by having this asteroid named after him in 1996. He's currently working at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory and is involved in the recent mission, the New Horizons mission to Pluto. So he's uh, very actively involved in planetary science and some of the NASA missions that are run out of APL. The funnest fact of all is that Hal and I both worked at JHU APL during the same period. I started there in 1994. He came in in 1996. I left in 2010 and he's still there. Now our paths really didn't cross. He's working in the space department and I was working for Navy Missile Defense. The name Hal Weaver did ring a bell though I don't believe I've ever met him and I don't believe we've ever worked together as we were working in different areas on different things at the time. It's a small world guys. Clear skies. Thanks for all the help in tracking down what this observation was and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.